मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हार्टी वेलकम टू आदर्श विद्यालय मेट्रिकुलेशन ऑनलाइन क्लास क्लास वन सब्जेक्ट ई बी एस चैप्टर टू वाटर टूडे टॉपिक कंसर्वेशन ऑफ वाटर वी हैव सीन वाटर इज यूज इन मेनी वेज फॉर अवर डेली एक्टिविटीज फॉर बाथिंग वॉशिंग क्लॉथ्स फॉर ड्रिंकिंग फॉर ब्रशिंग इज for even for living all the living beings that is human beings plants animals everything water is used so the water we have is not enough we need a lot amount of water so we have water only from rain that gets filled in lake river pond sea oceans etc so we have to use the water for our future use we have to save the water conservation of water means you have to conserve you have to save you have to save the water for future use okay. sing the rhyme along with me close the tap close the tap when you brush 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 use a bucket use a bucket when you bath 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 repair the tap repair the tap when it leaks 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 save water save water save 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 so this is the way to conserve the water is yes? i think you have sang the rhyme along with me is yes? so you have to close the tap when you brush when you bath bath you have to use a bucket you should not use the water directly from the tap you have to use the bucket so that you will use less amount of water you have to repair the tap when it is leaking so this is a way to save the water okay now we will move to the next topic some good habits to conserve water okay now we saw that if you are brushing you have to close the tap so if you are bathing you have to use a bucket if it leaks you have to repair the tap s yes? now if you are washing a cloth okay look into this picture so you are washing the cloth if the if you are opening the tap then washing the cloth the tap is open so the water gets filled in the bucket and it is getting leak so is it a good way to wash the cloth no you have to turn off the tap while washing cloths first day. then what are the plants in the morning so you are growing the plants for that you have to water it daily third step we need to use water sparingly if we do not have enough water our life becomes difficult so we should not use water in a large manner that is as there is a water so we can use it you do you should not think like that you have to use the water in a less way okay you have to avoid using for unnecessary means like you are washing the cloths but the tap is open that is unnecessary similarly you are washing vehicles or you are using it for some other purpose cleaning purpose so you have to use a little amount you should not use in a large amount like bucket bucket and all you should not use similarly while you are brushing you should not make the tap open and you should not brush so you have to close the tap then you have to brush okay for bathing similarly you should not use the open tap you have to collect the water in a bucket then you have to use it so these are the good way good manners to use the water okay so students i hope you all understood how we have to use the water because we have water only in a less amount because we are using it regularly but we are collecting the water only through the rain so we have to use it in a less way okay now today's homework sources of water that is draw a mind map to show the sources of water we already know from where all we are getting the water so write the sources of the water 
and students please do follow these steps in your life to conserve water to save water this is a good way good habit to save the water okay. i hope all of you will follow these steps to save and conserve water thank you students